What's up guys, Cubologist here, and today we have episode number 14 of our full OLL training series. In this episode, we're going to be covering cases number 29, 30, 41, and 42. Alright guys, so all four cases we're going to be covering today have this very distinctive shape. They've got this zigzag pattern with another corner oriented. Now everything that I look at on the OLL wiki, on speed solving, on different websites, they have this named as the awkward shape or awkward fish and I don't really like that. So the way I remember these is by calling them the glider shapes. I don't know if you're familiar with John Conway's Game of Life. But that's what they look like, his gliders, in the game that he created. So, let's get to the first case. Number 29 is going to look like this. The way you recognize it is, you have these pieces oriented on the top. You have a 2 by one block on the bottom. This edge piece is facing right. And this corner piece is facing up. When you have the cube like this, you do the following algorithm to orient this case. R u r prime u prime r u prime r prime f prime u prime f r u r prime all right now this case is actually pretty simple to execute because it uses a few triggers that we've already seen before and here's how i do it the second case we're going to cover today is ll number 30 as you can see, it's the same general shape as the first case we covered, OLL number 29, but it's oriented a little differently on top. You have this zigzag shape on the top right, the top left corner is oriented, the bottom right corner is facing to the right, this edge is facing up, and your 2 by one block will be on the left. Now once you have the cube oriented like this, do the following algorithm. Small f, r, u r2 u prime r prime u r2 u prime r prime small f prime and this is how i execute that case all right guys so the next couple cases we're going to be covering olls number 41 and 42 are actually really easy to execute and you'll see why here in a second but the difficult part comes with recognizing these cases and distinguishing them from the other ones we've learned that have these similar shapes oriented on top. Now the way I do this is simply by looking for headlights. Both of these next cases have a pair of headlights formed on the top layer that the first two cases don't. So let's get to it. This is OLL number 41 and the way you recognize this case is by seeing this glider shape on top oriented like this this edge and this edge are both facing out and your headlights are in the back. Once you have the cube oriented like this, you do this algorithm. You do soon r u r prime u r u2 r prime and then you do this OLL. F r u r prime u prime F prime. And this is how I execute this OLL. The next case we're going to cover is OLL number 42. Now the way I recognize this case is by seeing this glider shape in this orientation on top of the cube and you have headlights in the front. Now that's all you need really to recognize this case but just so you know this edge and this edge are facing out. So, once you have the case like this, you do the following algorithm. You do anti soon r prime u prime r u prime r prime u2 r and then that gives you this case again, which is f r u r prime u prime f prime and that will orient your layer. And here's how I execute this case. two pretty quick OLLs and it's solved. Alright guys, 
Well, that's all that we're going to cover today in our 14th episode of our full OLL training series. But I hope you're following along. I hope you're finding this helpful. And I think we're going to be done in time for U.S. Nationals around the 1st of August. If not, though, we'll continue it after that's over. I will be attending, so let me know if you guys are going to be there. But I hope you all have enjoyed, and thanks for watching, guys.